Hello and welcome. Today we are going to explain the DeepXDE library to solve uh, the heat equation uh, PDE. So in order to solve the heat equation, first we have to import the DeepXDE library. So we do that here, as you can see, import DeepXDE as DDE and uh, we also, you know, import the uh, the some back end uh, which is here is tensor flow is also imported and importing uh, numpy the usual library numpy as mp followed by that we have to define the some variables related to the heat equation as we said uh, just as a me memorizer is uh, the heat equation will have uh, a function of du over uh, dt a temporal uh, de derivation and of course uh, the second derivation of uh, u square over uh, well which is the second derivation of u uh, to x uh, here and of course we have the viscosity uh, or the diffusion uh, term the diffusion term or coefficient uh, which is denoted by x so we have to define these uh, three uh, you know variables which is uh, u t x and uh, and we have actually k so it's uh, four variables but of course u is the value that we are trying to actually calculate so uh, let's do that so we have um, in the first thing we have to do is the diffusion uh, coefficient we have to define its value and in this case is uh, 0 0.4 and uh, we define the limits of uh, of of x and time so in this case we have to uh, put l uh, equals 1 and n equals 1 so the geometry interval is um, from 0 to 1 and the time interval is from 0 to 1 as well now these both have to be inputted into gem time or geometry and time and we can put it in this uh, in, in like in here so after that we have to define the actual pde and to define the actual pde we uh, have to write a function the function will have two inputs uh, x and uh, y and um, in what we will do is uh, we will have uh, we need to define the dy over uh, dt the change of uh, of course y over dt and the change of uh, y over xx of course uh, y in in our case is actually u so yeah we can change these uh, namings but it, it doesn't really uh, matter we can just uh, use as is the most important thing is this function has to uh, provide um, this return which is uh, the change of y uh, in respect to time minus uh, the diffusion term and then the change of y in this or the second derivative of uh, y in respect to x uh, here we can see dy over dt uh, well he made it using uh, jacobian matrix and he well he used jacobian matrix to get the uh, first derivative and uh, he used the Hessian uh, or Hessian um, matrix to actually get the change of y uh, in respect to x and of course he returned it uh, as uh, the heat equation and as we can see here it's pretty much uh, like similar to the um, heat equation which is uh, we can see du over d t is this one uh, k well is here is a and du over xx the second derivative of y in respect to x is is here so this is basically the heat equation now after that what uh, what we need to do is we need to um, define the uh, boundary condition and the initial condition to define the boundary condition well there is also um, a function to do it but b uh, what we need to understand here we have to define through equation or I think we can also define it as a function but in our case we define it as equation and here is we will take x which uh, which has the value from 0 to 1 this is the x uh, going to change from 0 to 1 and the value will be uh, 2 multiplied x 
So the boundary condition will be uh, from the beginning it will be zero and at the end it will be uh, two. So it will uh, start uh, like basically like this. We have uh, the beginning of um, of x will start from zero and two x is zero and the boundary here will be uh, 2 so 2x will be 2 so these are the boundary condition now initial condition we also have to define uh, well based also on equation and in this case the initial condition is a sine wave and this sine wave uh, well it's changed from 0 to 1 and this is going to uh, like the same way like we write equation and uh, here is the x between 0 and 1 and then it has to uh, be calculated through this equation and uh, yeah this is how we define the boundary condition and the initial condition now we take all of this and we put them into um, a function or, or a value variable or like a compartment called data now data equals uh, well, we add the geometry and time, we add the PDE, and we add the boundary condition and the initial conditions are very important as, as we need to use them to, to get the data loss. And here we will put the number of points that we need to optimize or to calculate uh, using uh, this um, library. So the inside the domain, we will calculate 2,540 points. The boundary we will calculate 80 boundary points and initial uh, condition we will use 160 uh, initial condition points and uh, uh, this is just for evaluation the test we will use also a lot of uh, points this is the same number uh, now after that now we are ready like our data is ready the geometry is ready the partial differential equation is defined what we need to do is we need to define the actual neural network and in uh, deep x um, well in deep dx de is is quite um, uh, simple to define the uh, neural uh, network uh, which is in our case uh, this dde what we already uh, imported like which deep x de uh, imported uh, method here we have a dot neural network and feed forward neural network now defining this neural network is very easy like we can see like we start from two variables as input which is x and y or in our case it's x and t time and the space uh, and we have three hidden layer consist of 20 neurons and the output is one output which is in our case is u so we just get it like this and then we have the activation function is tan h and this is uh, actually is for initializing the um, the the neural network. It's 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 a way to initialize the neural network with a mean of zero. It's, it's just a method for initialization of the neural network. Now after here, what we will do is we just uh, define the model, which consists of the data we describe here and the network we describe, and then we will compile using um, Adam at the beginning which uh, after that we start to train so here we use adam with this uh, uh, learning uh, rate and we train it for uh, well 15000 steps now it goes and keep training it and after that we compile using uh, another uh, method and the, this method is um, is going to um, tune the uh, optimization get a better uh, values uh, it's called uh, lpfgsb which is a, it's, it's kind of like a limited memory um, a biden fletcher glofer sano algorithm it's it's, it's, it's it's this algorithm is actually used to uh, tweak or to to get these small variables uh, numbers to be a little bit more accurate than uh, normal um, neural network so uh, we use this one so we start with adam a little bit y scope and then we go back to the um, more detail after that we will just we we get the, our uh, loss we get everything uh, done 
and we can see here the final losses and then we just print the results and here you can just save the plots you have and you can see the trend the test loss is pretty much you know go the same and here is the solution so you can see that at the beginning we have initial condition of the solution of course uh, even here we have the sine wave and um, we said the boundary condition is set from 0 to 2 and then everything will uh, immediately diffuse from the sine wave or yeah, not immediately will have some time but it will start diffusing from this initial condition to the uh, our condition which is here representing a, a small a temperature and the higher temperature it it has to diffuse to this uh, like with time the solution will be diffused to this uh, linear uh, you know like um, shape so this is uh, how we uh, actually uh, solve pdes using uh, this uh, uh, deep uh, 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 de the library and um, if you want uh, to know more about how uh, to use machine learning for engineering applications please uh, see the link uh, 